And here we are again, back on the Bronco. Not really doing a whole lot tonight. It's almost night. I have to go pick up my daughter here in just a few minutes. But um, tonight, I'm gonna try to get this top off. I don't think there's much left to do. Just take the bolts out along the side and I think this third brake light plugs in over here. Just remove the speakers out of there, there, and the other door and there goes the heater. Which the heater hasn't been kicking on very much. It's, it's rather warm today. At least it feels pretty warm. Not warm, but warmer. It's probably, I don't know, upper 40s to around 50 right now. It's supposed to be 60, 60 to 62 is what I've seen for tomorrow. And that's darn near gonna feel like summertime. Jesse just decided to join us. Where you been, pooch? <laughs> So anyway, like I was saying, I pulled those speakers out. Got all the speakers out now, so I have a few more put around the shop, which I think I may put some on this wall over here. I'm not real sure, but I may do that here after a while. But as far as removing the top, I think all I have left to do is to remove the bolts along the sides. Looks like there might be one right up in there. I think you have to take that trim piece off up there, and there's probably, I don't know, maybe Three bolts, two, three up in there, I suppose. And then I believe it'll just lift right up off of there. I don't know last time this top was off or if it's ever been off. Jesse, why don't you just stay out of there? It's getting a little messy. One other problem I'm having is getting the seat belts unattached from the floor. Over here on the passenger side, I actually snapped off a Torx bit inside the head of that. And that one over there, I don't think is going to come any easier. I did get contacted from LMC Truck, I think it was yesterday. And it sounds like they're going to send me a new passenger side quarter panel. That hopefully isn't damaged. I really can't believe that one came damaged. To me, it looks like it must have left the factory that way. Because the outside of this box looks fine. And the great big box that was packed full of packing, it didn't look damaged at all. But either way, it sounds like they're working on sending me a new one. It said it should be delivered. I got an email from them in the next three or four days. It's not like I need it tomorrow. Got to get this one pulled off of here. That's why I want to get the top off so I can get to work on all of these little spot welds around here, get this panel off of here, see what it's like back behind there. Probably gonna come in and fix or replace, do something with the rust up on here. Don't think it's really all that bad. I think it looks a lot worse than it is. So we'll probably be doing that before, before the quarter panels go back on. May also take care of, may take care of this issue down in here rockers and everything before the quarter panels go back on so so it's not like I need it tomorrow or, or probably even next week but the sooner it shows up the better need to go down and get me a new tank of welding gas as well and then right about the time you get into the swing of tearing this thing all apart really good we're probably gonna get in the field for a week or two I was gonna go down and look for a hood today or maybe tomorrow since it's gonna be warmer but I thought to myself don't really need a hood yet. Not gonna need a hood for a while till we get the rest of this done. Not really any sense in having it just sitting around, probably fall over and get damaged or something. So I have to go pick my daughter up and then I'm gonna work on the Bronco. I'm gonna work on these speakers too, but I'm gonna try to get the top off of this thing tonight. Well, I didn't get much of anything done last night. However, check this out. The sun is out, the temperature's going up. It's supposed to get up to somewhere right around 60 degrees today Which is gonna feel real nice not gonna stay warm very long looks like it's gonna be back down in the 50s Maybe into the 40s For the next couple of weeks of course around here the weather forecast is always subject to change so who knows I did however Got that speaker put in, and then I put another one in over there. 
That big speaker never has worked real good. So I wanted a little more sound coming out over here. Maybe I'm getting a little carried away with, uh, with speakers in the shop. Was on the phone last night with James from Central Oregon Shenanigans. They're gonna have some Bronco stuff coming up real soon. I think they finally got that sorted out and you'll have to tune into their channel to find out what all's going on with it. It's a 78 Bronco. He's been doing some work on a camp trailer that he bought. Had to redo the back end of it, had some water damage. I think so far there's two videos up on that. I find them rather interesting. But head over to James and Kyle's channel, Central Oregon Shenanigans. Check it out. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So right now I'm going to get busy taking the bolts out of the back of this thing. There's just some bolts along that side and then also some up along here. Get those taken out, unplug it back there. There's a plug in that corner. And I think the top will be ready to come off of this thing. I'm new to Broncos. I've never taken the top off of a Bronco before. And it amazes me. I've asked several people that have Broncos the procedure for taking the top off. They've never had their top off either. But it doesn't look like it's too hard. It's not something you're going to do first thing in the morning before you go to work or something. Just because it's going to be a nice day and you want to drive around with the top off. There is a little bit involved in it. So go figure that uh, the bolts that hold the top on the Bronco, they're Torx, they have a Torx head on them, but uh, it's the safety Torx, the ones that have like a little post in the middle of it. Yeah, I didn't have any of those kind of bits, so I spent the last two hours going down to Des Moines and chasing some of these down. First store I went to didn't have them. They did have, they had ones like this that you can put in a drill, but I don't think I can get a drill in there and I don't know, I'm not sure if that would work. Might be able to put a wrench on it, but I don't know if I can get enough torque on the wrench to, anyway. So I went and got a little set of these. It's a T40, which is, which is this one. Come off real easily here, what the heck? which is this one here, it's a 3 8 drive. I don't know if I can put an adapter to put a uh, half inch drive ratchet on that or not. I don't know if I have enough room in there. I'm gonna have to go play with it. I'll show you what the head on those bolts look like. I gotta take the camera off of this tripod. Okay, so I'll show you, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, it's that, it's that right, right there, if you can see it post in the middle of it and so with that post which I don't have any regular ones back here now but regular one of these doesn't have that hole in the middle to go over that post so you can't put it down you can't put it down in there why they did that I have no idea is somebody gonna come along and steal the top off of your Bronco the way this is right now these are 3 8 drive. I don't know how tight these things are, but the way these are right now, you can get it in there. But I'm not sure you can even get a ratchet on it. Not very good. I guess you can. You know, it moves. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all these bolts out of here and hopefully. Pull this top off. Eventually. I have got all the bolts out except this one. And this one is taking longer than it took to take all the rest of them out. It's been a booger. It's back in here where you can't get it, the head of the ratchet won't fit on. I don't, it's just kind of, I got that side over there off with the impact. There's no, no way to get it on over here. And it got to where I couldn't make any combination of anything I had so you could get down in the top of this and have it stick and get it out. It just wouldn't go. So I'm working the last bit of it out with vice grips. And it's a whole lot of fun. But once I get this bolt out, I think we're about ready to take the top off. Got the little booger. 
I don't think I'll be reusing this one. Now just get all this stuff off of the top of it. Figure out where to put it. Get the top off this thing. Well, we got her off, not off, off, but slid back off. And it really wasn't too bad. It was stuck down on the sides just a little bit. I could not pick it up, not from just grabbing onto it and trying to lift it up. I got under here with a screwdriver and just lightly pried up just every once in a while along here. And that popped it right up. It, it, uh, it came up pretty easy after that. Then I got inside here and just stood up with my back up against the top, picked it up and moved it back this way. And to do that, you've got to get these little pegs right here. These, I assume they're just location pegs or something. You've got to get them up out of the hole, and then you can bring it back here and just let it sit there. I read online that you can get these off yourself. Well, of course, you can get them off yourself. And you can do almost anything one way or another. But I did read about a way that you can take these off yourself. They're not extremely heavy. I think like 120 pounds or something like that. But being the first time I've taken the top off of any Bronco, I, I think it might be best to get an extra set of hands and then we won't have any trouble. I'd hate to see the thing crash to the ground. So I'm gonna wait till I have an extra set of hands, get this off of the Bronco. We'll probably just take it over to the center part of the barn, stick it in there so it's out of the way, it doesn't get damaged or anything. And then I can get to work on this quarter panel here. So it shouldn't be too long. I'll find somebody to come and help move this top off and then I'll uh, bring you back in. A few moments later. Well, the Bronco is looking a little different. Got the top off of it. After my wife got home, she helped me carry it over the other side of the barn there. I've been wanting to do that, step over stuff here, and happy to see that it's not all rusted out anywhere. Looks pretty good. I think before we put the hard top back on, might not be a bad idea just to replace the seals around here. They're not in bad shape. This one's a little bit right there, I don't know why, but uh, I know you can get those, so probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. There's also a seal on the inside of the top. I guess it must rest along in here and probably replace that one as well. So yeah, we got the top off of it. Wife came in and took a look at it and was like, it's so cute. Not sure cute is the right terminology for it, but it's her Bronco. So now the next thing we're gonna do, I think I am going to pull this here quarter panel off, come in here, we're gonna drill out all of these spot welds all around the perimeter of it. And I'm not even sure how this thing's held on up here. It looks like there's some spot welds back in here. No, there's spot welds. Yeah, you can see all the spot welds down along here that have to come off and are on the inside here. There's a whole bunch of them here. And then they go down and across there. So that ought to be fun. Get this quarter panel off and then we can fix all this kind of stuff. This should be able to be patched up pretty, pretty easily. I know there's spots like that that are pretty rusty crusty all the way through, but we'll just cut that whole thing out of there, put in some new metal and that'll be fine. Plenty of work to be done, that's for sure. Probably gonna pull a tailgate off of here too. I should have done that and just taken it over to the inside of the barn as well. Get it out of here. Gonna have to paint up the inside of it though. And then tear all this apart back here and get it repaired. But anyway, the top is off. And now we'll get the quarter panels off and get to work on the rest of that stuff. So that's what's going on with the Bronco. And now we can really start ripping into it and then turning things around, going the other direction, fixing the rust and making it look better. Also, send in your license plates. Let's get this wall all finished off here. Wouldn't take a whole lot to do that. If you have a license plate or anything else you wanna send into the Fox Shop, the address down below. And the link for hoodies, t-shirts, zipper hoodies, channel stickers, that's down below in the description as well. 
And don't forget to go check out Central Oregon Shenanigans. They did get up over a thousand subscribers. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. They did get over a thousand, so their channel got to stay monetized if you're keeping up with uh, YouTube stuff that's going on. I told that story before. I'm not going to do it again. But thanks to a lot of you heading over to their channel and subscribing, they made it. So head over there, check it out. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. They're going to have a Bronco of their own. It's a 78 Bronco. They're going to get started on that shortly. And give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. I'm